Are they still updating Wackful? We're gonna find that out in this video. We're also gonna do an overview, check out the updates, the cash up, the monetization, the features, and what's happening to Wackful nowadays. We're gonna play, and we're gonna do a Wackful gameplay from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing the game from the start. Wakfu is a tactics, turn-based MMORPG. And with that said, let's do this. Welcome back, Saviors GH here. Before we play the game from the beginning, first, what is Wakfu? It's a tactical MMORPG with anime style graphics. In Wakfu, you can explore a visually stunning world, embark on quests, develop professions and crafting skills, influence the ecosystem, interact with other players, customize your own house, participate in mini games and activities, and engage in a variety of non combat experiences. Now, going to Wakfu's website, they describe their game as a turn-based MMORPG that offers a unique and epic adventure. One of the main features of Wakfu is its combat system, which is turn-based and tactical, emphasizing strategic planning and decision-making. Key aspects include action and movement points, elemental affinities, positioning and line of sight, combo attacks, active and passive spells, class specialization, and challenging boss fights. The game requires players to think strategically, coordinate the party, and make the most of their character's abilities to succeed in battles. Now, Wakfu was released in February 29, 2012, and it's developed by Ankama Games, a French video game development company, and they made quite a lot of games, and one is based on the Wakfu franchise. And they're also the guys behind the 2004 MMORPG, Doofus. In general, Wakfu received positive reception from both players and critics alike, the game's unique art style, story, and strategic combat system have garnered praise. However, it didn't receive the level of attention the developers had hoped for. This can be attributed to the fact that it was released in 2012, a time when the MMO genre faced fierce competition. Other notable MMOs like The Secret World, Raiders, and Fantasy Star Online 2 have captured players' attention, particularly in Japan. Additionally, the highly anticipated release of Guild Wars 2 further intensified the competition. So unfortunately, these factors made it a challenging time for Wakfu to gain significant traction. Nevertheless, the game still managed to find an appreciative audience amidst the competitive landscape. Now, as for the monetization, Wakfu implements a monetization system that combines free-to-play elements with optional paid features. And as a free-to-play game, anyone can download and play the game without any upfront cost. The game offers in-game purchases and a subscription called the Booster Pack that provides additional benefits. In terms of in-game purchases, Wakfu offered a variety of cosmetic items, different types of boost, the usual utility items, a 30-day buff that increased EXP for pretty much every aspect in the game, and the ability to reset skills and specialties. You can also buy what the game calls sidekicks, which are basically party members which can help you make short work of enemies. Now, here's an update on what's happening to Wakfu nowadays. In terms of events, they do those regularly, and as for major updates, it's regularly being updated. In fact, in June 27, 2023, Wakfu just received its 1.8 update, which includes a new 3-player dungeon, new account entity features, say career balancing, new secondary appearances and hairstyles for several classes, and new epic and relic sublimations. So the game is very well updated. Now, to show you more of the features and what the game has to offer, let's go play the game from the start. Let's go play the game. Okay, guys, here's the character creation. And here are the different classes. First one over here is the Cray, is Dabbing. Next is Ekaflip, Sacrier Blood, the Masquerader, Scram. There's a lot of classes here, guys. Oginok Fury, Iop. I tried this one. In Ellipse's Hand, Fika Shield, Sadida Shoe. Yes, you heard it right. Enutra Fingers, Iliotro Portal, the Foggernaut. Upper Mage Rune, we're gonna play as this one, but first I need to show you the other ones. Zealor Sandglass, Osamora's Whip, Pandawa's Pint, and Rogue. I think that's it. Oh, okay, we can change the gender over here on the top. So we're gonna play. How do we select that? Okay, we're gonna play as a Upper Mage Rune. Name our character. Man, I remember. This game doesn't take three letters. Okay, let's use this. Create. Man, somebody took it. <laughs> okay, how about Zay? Create. And we are in the game. We skipped the tutorial, guys. The tutorial island sky place. <laughs> okay, anyway. After that, you're dropping to this room over here. We're in the city already. So first, let's test out the movement. Can we click to move? We can click to move. Can we WASD? Nope. Menus are popping out when we're pressing WASD. So let's go outside. Let me show you guys the city. And here we are. Astrob City. 
close this. So how about let me change character? <laughs> I didn't expect that the game is gonna drop us instantly in Astro City. So let me change character. Okay, I changed character. We are some kind of a rogue if I remember correctly. And here are the city. Let's explore a bit to show you guys if the game is active or not. And as you can see, there's a bunch of people over here running around. And there are some vendors all around. This game is somewhat still active. Actually, it's very active. When I was playing a few hours ago, there's a lot of people outside the town doing quests. By the way, questing in here is very standard. And you can follow the quests by looking at the quest tracker. Here's the quest tracker, guys. At the left side you just press this compass over here and this will pop out just follow this where this is pointing and it's gonna point you to the quest destination like for example this one astrubian mercenary astra you just follow this compass and then interact with this npc over here and then we can now interact with this npc to finish the quest so we just need to talk to the other npcs by the way when you first get into this city the game is gonna give you some kind of a rescue mission. You're gonna rescue the Astrob Knight. He's basically your first sidekick. Oh yeah, speaking of sidekick. Let's open up the character profile. Here goes the character profile. This is where you can find the skills. You can put some over here. How about let's put some dodge. Check. So we used up our skill points. And you can add other characters over here by pressing this one over here. And as you can see, we have uh, Crowbax. This one is a trial sidekick. You get this instantly when you get into the game. He's gonna start level 1 and you're gonna level him up. And as you can see over here, I already had the Astro Knight because, you know, I played a while ago. And we can now add it over here. And as you can see, we're now a three-man party. And before you do the other quest, make sure to level up your new sidekicks, your new party members. Because they're gonna be weak. They're gonna be one-shotted. And of course, you gotta gear them up too. Let me show it to you. Here at the inventory. By the way, guys, when you're equipping gears over here, your character changes appearance. Like, for example, let's remove this helmet over here. And as you can see, we removed the helmet. Now let's equip it again. And there it goes. We're changing appearance. Now close this. And if we click this icon over here, we can also gear up our sidekicks. Here's the Astro Knight. And in terms of gearing off, when you first get into the city, fight the cats. Because the cats will give you level 6 and level 8 gears. Like, uh, here we go, cats. Let's fight some cats to show you guys the combat. Okay, let's fight the cats. And as you can see, we're now starting the fight. There goes the Astro Knight, Crowbax, and my own character over here. We're only fighting one cat. <laughs> this is overkill. Okay, anyway, as you can see, the game is tactics combat, which happens on the grid. And this is also turn-based. So here's the beginning phase. This is where you decide where you want to put your character. Like, for example, let me put this one over here so we can easily backstab this cat. <laughs> okay, ready to fight? First turn. It's Crowbax's turn. So how about... Let's see if he's gonna survive. I think he's not gonna survive. Let's destroy the cat. <laughs> okay, one more. Man, this crowbax attacks a lot. Ooh, I missed that one. <laughs> okay, anyway. And turn. Now it's the cat's turn. The cat's gonna destroy us. And now let's finish this cat. Shoot him down. <laughs> and the cat is destroyed. Victory! And as you can see, there's a few people running around. So what else can I show you guys? So how about, let me play for a bit. When I see something, you know, much more challenging, <laughs> I'm gonna record again. Turns out, I needed to level up to be able to do some of the quests. And look at this. I'm liking his running animation. He's got wings. Okay, anyway. Man, look at this game. I keep checking this game out every now and then. And you know what? I've been wanting a turn-based AAA MMO on PC. That would be great. Because most of the MMOs is either tab target or action. It would be a great change of pace if we get a AAA turn-based MMO. Not exactly the traditional turn-based, but something like this. A tactics MMO. Okay, so anyway, let's just look for a monster to fight. Maybe something around our level. What's our level again? We're level 12. Our sidekick is even lower. Oh, there's a chicken over here. Level 17 chicken. Okay, there's a site over here. Can we fight this? Check it out. Oh, yeah, we could attack the site. Let's zoom in. He's alone, right? Okay, we're gonna destroy him. Let's move behind. Face him. Ready to fight. And of course, there's another one over here. What's <laughs> happening there? Okay, so how about let's first destroy the site over here because I think he's making doppelgangers. Yep, destroy the site. I think our Astro Knight is gonna go down. 
And turn. Now our main character. Attacking from the sides. One more. And turn. Iron bow. How far is this? Okay, it's really far, so let's move over here. And try that skill. Nope. It wouldn't work. Because of this one, it needs to be behind. Okay, anyway, and turn. What? The damage is 145. Let's destroy it immediately. <laughs> Looks like we're in trouble here. Uh, okay, so how about... Let's try using this virus. Okay, let's just... Kill him slowly. Let's go. It's already dead. Die. And turn. Finish him up. And we win. And that's Wakfu in 2023. So there it goes. Wakfu is still being updated and it's still very active. To be honest, you don't need other players to play this as the single player journey to the end game is very playable alone. So check the game out. And guys, do you want to see the latest free to play MMORPG news? There it goes on the screen. Leave a like before you go. And this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.